Hello guys, my name is Akshar Patel and in this tutorial we are going to learn all the DB or database operations just like insert, update, delete and fetch the data from MySQL. So I give you first brief history about previous tutorial that why we require VAM server because it will provide a better user interface to create databases or firing any queries to the database called MySQL right that's only the major thing that's why we are using data web server for that nothing else don't go deeply in that right this is not our concern we have to use just a graphical user interface for MySQL instead of doing it in a command line interpreter just like this right so we don't want that that's and then and then and only we use mysql for oh, okay sorry php my admin user interface for mysql right another thing we have done that we install a package called pi mysql in order to use all the mysql facilities in python right so first of all we have to create one database in order to work with in order okay sorry in order to save all the tables first right so to create database just go to your okay so i have already started vamp server and open my i have already okay i will show you from scratch go to your local host first then php my admin right so now you will jump to mysql graphical user interface here right so let's create one database so click here this all are the databases okay mysql itself have its own tables in mysql database right so we don't have to touch them we have to create a new database okay then it will ask what is your database name i will give my python right and don't change anything here just take it and leave it as it is right and press create okay so it will create automatically the database called my underscore python that's why we are using graphical interface of mysql right so you don't have to pass a query for creating your database you have to just give your name and press create so that it will automatically create one query and fire it and just give the back response that is my underscore python database right now here we will complete first stage of our tutorial the second thing is we have to create a date table we are also able to create table here right just give a table name and specify the columns and place go but i will show you guys how to create a table using python code right so first of all we have download one function one python package called my pysql so we have to import it pi my sql right then if whenever you want to use my sql you have to bridge a connection between my sql and python script right so for specifying the connection you have to create one connection just like here then go to pi my sql dot connect there is inbuilt function called connect we have to pass some specific parameters here right so look at the screen very carefully first of all we have to pass a host what is the host our host is localhost if you have noticed right so that's all we have to pass it here local host comma we have to pass another argument called user which user does use this database which user used all the database by default 
MySQL comes with a common user called root and next parameter is password right password pw and then it leave it blank right because root comes with empty password and last thing we have to specify that what is our database so we have created our database called my underscore python we have to specify here mysql python right and close it right so this line will does a bridge or okay what is this line does is just a bridge a connection between your python script to the mysql database right okay now we have complete our connection now we will uh, execute some okay we will create one table inside mysql okay inside our database called my underscore python look at structure here and look this line no tables found in database right so now we will create one table here through coding right so and when another thing is you have to create a cursor so first of all what is cursor cursor is a basically thing that provides all the database operations by mysql so you have to create one object of mysql database right so let's make a cursor called my cursor equals connection you have you are only able to create cursor with the connection right so connection dot cursor just like this leave it empty bracket okay so this is the cursor that provides the functionality of of my sql like insert update and delete it will allows you to fire queries and execute that then queries in python right so now we will execute one query just like this my cursor our cursor variable dot execute this is a special method provided by by my sql package whatever returns here it will fire in fire the query in my sql database right so we want to create a database so give three command three uh, quotes in here that will enables you to to write your query in multi line right so first of all let's create let's write a, qu a query in order to create one table so let's create tables called names right so and next opening bracket then give one id called int and how to give primary key just look at here just you have to write the name this is the column name this is the data type and this is the constraint name right so i will specify another column called name then where care and then size of it so okay i will leave it i will create create a table called names which have only two columns that id and name for just a simpleness right and this is all we want and now we can execute our cursor so before you can execute your cursor you have to commit your cursor like my sql dot commit okay my cursor dot okay we have to commit our connection commit right in whatever change happen in my sql it will save that change right if you don't write th this line it will undo that it will undo all the statement appear here right and if and you are thinking my queries doesn't work but if you you don't provide the con commit function so you have to provide a function call commit right and after the last statement is you have to close your connection if you don't want to utilize more resources of mysql right so let's run the script okay so wait for some time 
okay we don't print here anything but let look the change in my sql right so go to here okay no table found let's refresh it structure look at here right we now get one table called names yippee we are successfully created one table called names so let's click on it okay so now go to structure what is the structure of it so right here just leave it id and name just look at it id and name that will gives you a id in 11 and name where can 20 right so that's how you can create table within the python code right my okay so that's how you are creating your table with queries right so this is how you can create one table in python right so now i will delete this line we have to insert record in table called names that we have already created so i will delete this line only i will not delete anything because we require all the statements below and above so now our first operation is to insert the data in mysql using python right so let's use our cursor variable dot execute method and then query name so our query is insert into what is our table name check this out names right names and then specify the columns first so our we have two columns id and name so we have to specify it here id name and values i hope you guys know what is uh, queries and how queries works and all this stuff right so let's you know, going further values we have to specify a, a static values first of all let's give one then comma and call auction right just a basic two values right and semicolon if you do not provide then it will take it automatically right and nothing else just run the script or, or if you want to make this very user friendly then print out one message here right data call data insert data right so now let's run the script run it okay look at here data inserted so we have to jump on our mysql graphical user interface and just re refresh it so look we have one record called one and akshar you can pass another uh, record just like to change to and another name called sagar and let's run it again okay, where is my cursor so let's run it again so data inserted go to your gui and refresh it or browse it again so look we have another record called to and sagar right so that's how you can insert data in mysql using python right so we have completed our two things first is how to create table second thing how to insert data right i will comment this now we will see how to delete data just like inserting data you can delete data by specifying the query so delete from table name where our condition our condition is id equals one okay and then comma then just run the script okay i will make one more statement so it will look better delete right so let's run 
our program fast so data deleted right so now we have to jump on here and refresh it look we currently not refreshed our page so it will gives me two records whenever I refresh it just so just see here okay so now there is only one record I have deleted the, the record which ID is one right so I will will delete another record which ID is equal to two and let's run it again okay this is how you can delete and refresh it check this out we don't have any rows here right so now we have seen how to insert data how to delete data the final okay so the second last thing is how to update data right so comment it first so now we will insert one record for insert, inserting record through GUI just go to your just select your table first right and then click on insert table insert tab and give the value like one and our name and just go okay insert another record so you can then see the difference of update query right okay go now check, uh, browse the data so you have, you have two data right you can insert it directly here or you can write the code for it right so now the fine second last thing is how to update data just like you can use my cursor dot execute update then table name here table name is names set <coughs> ID okay set name like like what I will give just like no nope. no nope. set name like no nope. then condition where ID equals one right so my ID is where is my cursor okay so my ID is one so change the name Aksar to nope right so that's all we are going to do and let's run the script okay what is the error oh yeah I will got it update names set name like no where id equals one right i will shoot like this and i will run the script again right so process is zero first of all i will show you the output okay here is a aksar now i will refresh it and check this out it will change to no what happens here update query doesn't take like as this it, you have to use equal sign for that okay that's why it give me the error okay so the f we now we learn how to insert how to first of all how to create table how to insert data how to delete data how to update data right now the final thing is that how to fetch data and how to print those data how about you can fetch to all the records of this and print it in a python uh, console great right so that's all we are going to do so this is the final stage of our db operation so you let's start by my cursor dot execute the only thing which is remain same that is your one function that is execute right that's why pi mysql is the basic there is more there is 
lots of packages provides by python like my pysql or mysql db but i prefer py mysql because it is really awesome way to interact with mysql package through python right it will provide just only one function to execute all the statements right insert update delete create and whatever right so back to our topic let's fetch all the data which is which is we are in, inserted previously right so my cursor dot execute first of all we have to fetch data through query select star from names right and the we have to print those data just like my cursor dot fetch this is the another function that will fetch all the records here right and end it with new line so you will get uh, you will understand each rows well right so now let's run it so look at here we now get all this records here first one then nope then second and sagar right so this is how all this python does for my sql to perform insert delete update and select query from my sql package right okay that is all for this tutorial and i hope you you have learned about my sql database and how you can connect the database how to insert data how to delete data how to update data and even how to select data and print those data right so that's all for this tutorial i hope you guys like it and um, i will see you guys next time but as always don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for all your subscription and i will see you guys next time bye